How does the offense change without Rodney Anderson? Has it changed? Um, obviously, you know he's been a great player for us for the past two years. Uh, he's you know he's dealt with some injuries. He's overcome adversity. So, uh, I mean, this is the University of Oklahoma. You know we have to reload. Uh, next man has to step up, and I believe I believe we got the players to do that. So uh, it's obviously tough losing him, but we got guys that got to step up. One of those guys is Trey Sermon. What kind of growth have you seen out of him since he arrived here? Um, a lot. I mean, he's gotten bigger, faster, stronger. Bodies, you know, transitioning. Um, you know, and with this time, you know, him being the guy, him and Cell, uh, I think, you know, he, he'll rise to the occasion, uh, just like Rodney did last year. You mentioned Marcel. Well, yes, just his growth from last year to this year. How big has that been? I mean, we're only two games in, so I, I can't really, you know, answer all that, but. Uh, He's definitely showed a lot of improvement. Uh, I think he'll just keep getting better. What kind of guy is Trey? I mean, we see what he can do on a football field, but what okay. kind of guy is he? Uh, he's a la really laid back guy. Um, I would kind of like me a little bit, you know, uh, doesn't do too much talking. Uh, really just show up, sh shows up every day and grinds. I mean, that's the type of guy he is. Like I said, he doesn't really talk a lot. Um, chill guy, but he loves the game. He obviously played a lot last year as a true freshman. Mm -hmm. It takes probably a pretty unique personality, special player to do that. What, what do you think helped him to do that and then carry over to this year? Get still as a young guy. Yeah, um, played a lot. I think, you know, he just kind of got in the game and just kind of, you know, his, his athleticism and game took over, you know, Ohio State, Baylor, uh, and everybody kind of, you know, kind of called him the fourth quarter finisher or whatever it was. But uh, I think, we, you know, this, like I said, this University of Oklahoma, we got a lot of great running backs come through here. Um, and he's one of them. I mean, he, he's sophomore year uh, and he, he's just ready to grow on it you know um, I think this will be a big year for him in the end so Kyler you talked a lot about the on the field presence of Rodney but off the field became one of the leaders one of the team captains how do you try to replace that I, I, don't, I don't really think you can um, but I, I don't think we will have to um, I know, like I said, it's tough, tough for Rod, you know, going down. You never want to see a guy like that go out, you know, what he's meant to the team. Um, but he'll, I think he'll be there every, every step of the way for us. Uh, I know the type of guy he is. Um, he doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want to be away from us. So, you know, we'll have him, I believe so. Uh, and like I said, we just got to have guys step up. What do you see from Pledger and Brooks? A couple of young guys that a little bit more might be expected from now. Uh, yeah, no, they've done great jobs uh, since I've been here. Uh, I know KB, uh, he's done a great job, and you know TJ coming in this year, uh, he's got you know he's got all the tools in the world. So uh, for him to you know they'll step up. Uh, I know you know they've gotten a lot of playing time the past two weeks, so uh, things should be good for them. Do you anticipate Kyler doing your part to uh, make up for Rodney's absence in the run game? <laughs> um, no, I, I, like I said, it's going to be hard to replace Rod, but I mean, we got Trey, Cell, TJ, KB, um, and then, you know, when I have to run, I will. So uh, I, I don't, you know, anticipate running the ball 20 times a game, though. <laughs> Are you comfortable with how often you ran it Saturday, for instance, against UCLA? Yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't really feel like I ran it a lot, honestly, but what was it, 10 times? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, it really doesn't feel like 10 times, but I mean, if I have to, I have to. If I don't, I don't. But you're comfortable with that number. I mean, that's okay. That's, or would you like to even lower that a little bit? Have you? Whatever it takes to win. Yeah. Uh, Have you always been one to slide as much as you did on Saturday, or is that something that you're doing now? No, I mean, it's, in high school, it's a little different. You know, guys are smaller in college. You got to protect yourself. I'm not the biggest guy, so it's just you know, it's kind of a thing that you know, it's necessary at times for sure. Have you always had a good feel though for when to get down. It seems like you avoid the big hit. Yeah, I, I, I've been, you know, I don't think I've taken a lot of big hits in my career at all playing football. Um, maybe maybe less than five, but uh, yeah, I think I do a good job of being safe out there. Do you do, like, clinics on sliding with the other clinics. guys with your baseball background? No, uh, we, we have had some, you know, some funny talks about, <laughs> about guys sliding and messing it up uh, over the past couple of years, but uh, I don't know, I haven't given any tips. Is it the same as a baseball? I mean, do you essentially do the same thing you would do on the baseball field? Yeah, I, I, it's a little different. I mean, it takes a little athleticism, but uh, no, <laughs> it's not too hard. <laughs> It is just two games, like you said. Yeah. But do you, you can you get a sense of how pleased you are with with your rhythm as a passer up to this point? You like you like what you've done in the pocket. Kind of I mean, I was a little, I was a little you know I would say unsatisfied this past Saturday just because you know the 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 plays we left out there on the field um, that you know we could have made. Uh, but as far as passing goes, like I said before, I mean, I'm a very confident guy. I feel like I can do whatever I want to do on the field as far as passing or running goes. Uh, you know, I don't. 
I don't feel like there's a restriction on my game. So, uh, like I said, I was a little unsatisfied with the way things went a little Saturday just because, you know, we kind of stalled out sometimes when, you know, we had drives going. But other than that, yeah, it's been it's been a good two two games so far. I think you said after the game you think this could be the best offense in, in college football. Yeah. Do you still feel that way even without Rodney? Definitely. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's you can't replace a guy like Rodney, obviously, you know. I don't think anybody in the country has a guy like Rodney. So uh, for us to try to replace him is going to be tough. But um, like I said, I don't think we'll have to. We got a lot of guys in the offensive room that you know can make plays, as y'all know. Um, and we'll see guys step up. Like I said, Rodney, you know, he wasn't. Nobody thought Rodney was Rodney until what he did last year. So you know, we got guys that you know can replace him. I feel so. Uh, we, I don't, I'm not too worried about you know whether or not we'll be able to replace him. What is going to be the key? Is it other guys stepping up or uh, other guys at running back stepping up or, you know, you and the receivers and the line, you know, elevating your game is a combination of both. Yeah, I think as the season goes on, everybody's got to get better. Um, I got to get better. I got to be better. Uh, line's got to get better. Running back's got to be better. Receivers got to be better. Um, and, you know, I think with throughout practice, we will. Um, and we'll get stronger as the year goes on. Uh, like I said, I think we got running backs that will step up. Tyler, with Creed working with the first team now, what's that kind of relationship like between you guys and that level of comfort? Yeah, I think he did a great job this past Saturday, um, you know, having him and Alvy, uh, two two guys that are really good. Uh, Alvy's got a lot of experience. Um, and, you know, like I said, Creed did a great job for his first start. Um, and I think he'll just continue to grow. You know, he's a great, uh, great guy to have on the team for sure. What stands out most to you about what Iowa State does defensively? Sorry about that. It's okay. Other good team. Um, you know, I'm not going to say too much about them other than, you know, they'll be a good challenge for us. Tyler, back to Rodney for just a second. I mean, I know everybody's heartbroken for and devastated about yeah. this injury. For you personally, where does that stem from? Knowing the guy, knowing what he's been through. I mean, like, what, where does your, your sort of just that yeah. feeling come from for you? I mean, it, it's just unfortunate, you know. Um, when you've, you know, you put in work with a guy like that, um, and you know, his personality, uh, loving guy, you know, caring guy and doesn't, you know, he wants nothing but the best for anybody on the team. So, and, you know, this is, you know, this was going to be his year to just, you know, kind of blow up and uh, just for him to, you know, get hurt. It's, uh, it's unfortunate, uh, but, you know, we will do it for him and, uh, you know, he'll be there with us. So. You guys have uh, other weapons, obviously. What, what has it been like throwing to CD and Marquise with the, their ability to, to make so many big plays. They, they make my job a lot easier, obviously. Um, you know, Keith being able to do whatever he wants on the field. You know, he's a fast guy, CD as well. Um, but, you know, those aren't the only two guys we have. Uh, you know, I'm pretty confident in every receiver on the team. So, uh, like I said, the whole receiving core makes my job a lot easier. Uh, and having great offensive line and guys that can run the ball makes my job a lot easier. What's it like to know you can throw the ball like five feet over a receiver's head and you can still maybe catch the ball like Lamp did? <laughs> That's the, you know, that, it's a good job at Coach Riley recruiting. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, obviously, I'm thankful to have him. <laughs> most impressed with with that non-catch I mean I'm sure you've seen it yeah. now or seen pictures or I, honestly I didn't really get a good look at it um <laughs> it was a uh, I tried to force him the ball and you know that kind of he kind of uh, he just made a play I mean obviously it was out of bounds but you know I think CD's everybody knows CD's talented um he can jump high he can catch uh so I, I wasn't really too shocked honestly you mentioned CD Marquise but I want to ask you about also about AD Miller and what yeah. he's done these first two games yeah AD's, uh, me and AD been here for a while, so to see him succeed, you know, it makes me happy. Um, I know he's put in a lot of work, uh, and just, you know, over the, over the couple of years, you know, he had the red shirt last year, he's, uh, he's fought adversity as well, so, um, for him to start, uh, he's playing well, you know, see him succeed is, uh, it's a good feeling. You said after the game, good enough will get you beat later on. Yeah. After watching the game, do you still kind of feel that way, that the way you play? Uh. You know, it's never as, as bad as you think it is, never as good as you think it is. But, um, yeah, I definitely I believe, you know, good enough will, will get, get you beat against uh, better teams, um, you know, later on. So and that's just the way I feel about it. Is it just a couple throws, a couple missed assignments? Or? Uh, it's just kind of sloppy as far as offense goes. Um, in spurts, uh, we were good. In spurts, we were kind of bad. So uh, we just got to clean it up and be better this week. I'm kind of curious about your dad obviously has a – great track record being a quarterback, coaching quarterbacks. Um, 
What are your conversations like with him now? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you had a lot when you were playing at A&M and the yeah. transfer, but like, what are, how have those conversations changed? What are they like now? Um, Honestly, I mean, they're not too, not nothing, nothing crazy. Um, you know, he knows the competitor I am. You know, I know the competitor he is. So, I mean, he doesn't. You know, it's more of stuff that you know just calms you down. Not, not anything to get me going or anything like that. Because he knows. You know, I'm pretty self motivated. Um, so, you know, it, it's like I said, it's nothing too crucial. Do you have those? The tone of those conversations change if you become an older guy, more seasoned guy, or are they largely the same as they were even back in the high school days? I mean, they're honestly the same, honestly, yeah. Does he like to break stuff down the day of the game with you, or does he, does no. he give you space to? Yeah, no, he gives me space. He, he, he it, like I said, it's not, it's not what y'all would probably imagine, because uh, I mean, he knows, you know, when the lights are on, you know, I'll be ready to go. So he, uh, he's not too worried about it. Is he calm in the stands, or are you like? Yeah, I, I think he is. Or? I think, he's, I think he's pretty calm. So I haven't heard any other, anything otherwise. He's not calm in the family. My mom doesn't really care whether or not she just wants me to be happy, and you know she just hopes I stay okay. But uh, my dad, yeah, I, I don't think there's anybody that's scared. I haven't, you know, that, yeah, I don't think they're too scared. Anything else for Kyle? Good. Thank you. Thank you.